hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem square root of x square root of x equals 8 this is simple so the next thing we'll do is to square both sides square root of x square root of x we'll square this and it's equal to 8 we'll square this as well Remember, whatever you do on both sides of the equation will not change the equation. Now, this and this will go. x root x is equal to 8 times 8 will give us 64. Now, we still have um, a square root to eliminate, right? So, this means we are going to square this as well. This will be squared and then 64 will also be squared. Now, this square belongs to x and root x. So, x squared will give us, x to the power of 2 will be here. Then, this can now go with this. So, we multiply this by x. And this is equal to 64 times 2 is 4096. x squared times x will give us x to the power of 3. And this is equal to 4096. Now, from here, what do we do? This can also be written in a way that will have nine, um, 3 as the power. So, our x to the power of 3 is going to be equal to 4096 4, is the same thing as 16 to the power of 3. Now, we are going to get the three possible solutions, right? So because of that, I'll have x to the power of 3 minus 16 to the power of 3 equals 0. And you can remember that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. So if you factorize... Um, if you factorize this, this is what you're going to have. And I'm going to apply the same standard to this. Um, A minus B becomes X minus 16. Then um, A squared becomes X squared plus AB becomes X times 16. And that will be 16X plus B squared. That will be 16 squared. So I square this, and everything is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, our x minus 16 is a factor. Then x squared plus 16x plus um, 16 times 16 is 256. So the whole of this is another factor. Now, from here, we apply our zero product rule that says it is either x minus 16 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 16x plus 256 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is what I have. Now, I will deal with this first. So that x minus 16 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0 plus 16 and that is 16. So from here we have the first value of x and it's a real value. Then we can go to this to get the second value or the second and the third value of x where we have x squared plus 16x plus 256 equals 0. Now from here we can apply our formula to deal with this. So that our a is 1, that is the coefficient of x squared. Our b is 16, which is this. And then the constant is 256. Now, what is the formula? Okay, so this is the formula. And we are going to say that our x will now be equal to minus b is now minus 16 plus or minus 
we have um, b which is 16 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times um, c is 256 so the whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1 Okay, so now we are saying that our x is equal to minus 16 plus or minus 16 squared is giving us 256. Then minus 4 times 256, let's multiply. 4 times um, 6 is 24. Then 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2, that will be 22. Then 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 that will now be 10 so this will be divided by 2 now let us continue very quickly okay so our x will be equal to negative from um, 16 plus or minus we have square root of negative if you multiply this um brother if you subtract this you're going to have negative 768 because this okay let's continue this would be over 2 now our x is equal to negative 16 plus or minus here we have i square root of 768 how did i get 768 um, how did i get this i because of this negative so the whole of this will be divided by 2 right and um, we can break this down as well so that 2 can go here and our x will be equal to negative 8 plus or minus but this 2 will still work for this so we're going to have um, 1 over 2 i square root of 768. So this will now be the second and the third value. Now let's bring this together. We get our x1 to be equal to 16 before. Then our x2 is from here, which is minus 8 plus or minus 1 over 2 i square root of 768 then our x3 will be mine okay sorry we'll pick only the positive from there then minus 8 minus we have from um, 1 over 2 i square root of 768 so this will be the first solution the second solution and the third but only the first solution is real.